Alrighty, welcome back to another one, guys. Uh, so today, I know it's been a little bit, been kind of on a hiatus, mostly because of the wind, not because we haven't been wanting to fish, uh, but the wind's just kept us off everywhere. None of the shore spots have been producing, so we've kind of just been in a lull right now. But anyway, we figured, we're done waiting. It's a little windy, but we're just gonna give it a try. We're at a big pond that I haven't fished probably since I was like seven years old. I have not been here in a wicked long time. Um, but we're meeting three other people here on kayaks and canoes. So with five lines in the water, uh, even though it's a place we haven't fished in a very long time, I'm pretty confident we can find a bite. Uh, I think we got clouds rolling in a little later in the afternoon. Right now it's still pretty sunny. Um, I'm throwing a crankbait for sure, and I just have a Senko tied on. Just going to search for the bite, not slowing anything down too much, just going to figure it out. But anyway, enough talking. Just figured out to give you guys the intro. I think we're going to have a good day, so stick with us and then stay tuned. dropping looks pretty clean dude huh is that them no oh wow it but dude this is so clean why is this so clean this is like the cleanest water I've been on like ever Definitely the wrong colors today on the crankbait. Alrighty, we made it on the water. We just gotta find, uh, gotta go find the guys, but this water is incredibly clear. Like, there's a lot of pollen on top right now, but I mean, I probably have like five feet of visibility at least. It's pretty nice. Usually not fishing the cleanest waters around here. All right, we're gonna head over and uh, see if we can go find Sean. But so far, first impressions, absolutely dope spot. I mean, I like haven't, now that I think about it, the more I think about it, I don't think I've ever fished water this clear uh, off the yak, which is just like, it's just so sweet. Especially pull up when you have polarized sunglasses too, you can just see right down to the bottom. I just, I really hope I get, get the chance to sight fish or like maybe see a fish on a bed, that'd be awesome. Um, that's all I really want to do. I'd love to just see, like, actually put my eyes on a fish. Alright, so while the boys come over here, we're just throwing some Sankos out, seeing what's going on. Uh, quick story time, though. So, oh wait, I might have a... No, I don't. Um, so, quick story time, guys. My dad works with a guy who used to work for, like, DCR, um, which is the Department of Conservation and Recreation uh, in Massachusetts. And... I'm sure you guys are aware if you watch a lot of fishing videos that every once in a while they do like and they they shock the water and the fish float to the top and they get a count and everything. So um, when they did this, like I think it was like how how long ago, Jack? Two years ago, there was an 11 pounder in here. Hi guys. How are you? Not nothing yet. No, but we just got out here. Oh, cool. Nice kayak. Thank you. Fish just hit. Oh, there you go. I just had to say it, I guess. Can you eat those? You can, but I don't think they taste too good. What is that, bass? Yeah. Bluegill, the ones with like orange on the bottom, the little like, they look like sunfish. You can eat those. I yeah. Alrighty. I know this is a bit of a summer bait, but I don't know why. I just think this, uh,. This little buka bullshit here is gonna, it's gonna be the sauce. I'm gonna throw that in the crankbait. And uh, hope we get something. All right, so Sean just said he sight fished, sight, sighted a large bass. We're gonna go get that Sanko in there. I know I wanna, I was just saying how I wanna see if it, like sight fish a bass so bad. Oh, look at that dot, did you see that? 
Too much well, yeah, dude, it's every man for himself. This is some friendly competition. All right, Jack hooked up on a beauty of a black crappie. All right, panfish. Like we'll call him half a point. Yeah, that's a beautiful fish. That's an eater right John, there. John, look at that. Now. All right, all right, Carl. I have my uh, thing open, so I can't do an underwater release. Uh, well. Oh, oh! <laughs> all right, we're switching it up. Carl's a copycat, but we're throwing the same exact bait that Jack's throwing. We got to get on this leaderboard. So so far, I had it wrong. Um, Jack's at a point and a half. We'll call Panfish half a point. He's currently in the lead. Sean's on. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a chunker. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a hook in my leg for sure. All right, let's, let's peep this. Let's see what you guys can see right now. Oh, dude, that he's short. If he was longer, for sure. I don't think he's over two. Well, oh, let's see. Probably, honestly, he's probably only like one two, one three. I'm gonna call one four. Here, you just uh, flip him the other. Way. Here, here, you can do it. Uh, lift him up and then press the power button to zero it. It'll flash zeros. Okay. I gotta get this guy back in the water. Nice, okay. Yeah, one four. One four. Hey, All right. you're on the board. Thanks, buddy. You pulled him out of this stuff right here? Literally right where we are. Huh. All right. Wait, you guys are a team? We're doing that? Yeah. Okay. All right. I was wrong then. All right. So, what, what's your... Yeah, I caught that. So, Team Irish. Team Irish is on the board. So, that's one? That's one point. Yeah, I think I won. I thought it was a 50 pounder. <laughs> dude, I think it ruined my worm. Do you have any extra worms, watermelon? Because this worm is like ruined, dude. It literally pulled my hook off. Wait, another one? Oh, uh, he just released it. Oh, we're gonna head a little deeper in this cove. They've been fishing kind of the first flat. They saw some beds. Sean pulled one near a bed. But we're gonna go deeper in. It's a bass. Oh, it's a pick. No. All right, well, we're back to zero. God damn it, dude. Yep. Oh, pro net job. <laughs> All right. We netted a pick, I mean, a pick roll. So Jack and I are back at uh, Operation Zero. Oh, this guy got himself all tangled up in this net. Look at this little guy. Oh, you just caught a pig? No, this is the first one. Not bad. Let him go. All right, well, that just put Jack and I back down to zero. Not thrilled about that, but Sean and uh, Chap are in the lead. So you guys are at three. They're at one with Zach's fish. Sunburned as shit. Yeah. Sure, oh my, my legs are getting Nah, I'm just embracing the roast. No way. Do we need to net it? Yeah, I might have that back. Dude, these pick are killing our day. Let's see this chungus. I can't see yet. 
Oh shoot. Let's see if I can pull up <laughs> pull up broadside. <laughs> Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> That's a diesel pick. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Sean, this is a a chunk of a pick. This okay. this one might not be minus one. <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't be. His teeth. I know, you're close, but you're good. If you just vice grip right there, yeah, vice grip right there. <laughs> Dude, that's a massive pick. <laughs> Dude, it's a monster pick. There he goes. I grabbed the last minute chunk for the lead, but I'm not gonna count it because the boys got off the water already, but I think we, or hold on. Oh, he just fell off. Oh, wait, no, he didn't. Dude, I... Holy crap. All right, let's try this again. All right, and we are back in the car. The day is done. We got, like, a good, like, six hours of fishing in today. It was a, it was a long day. Uh, what'd you think? Pretty good day. Solid day. I mean, Jack, how many, like, what'd you catch? Like, 13. Yeah, 13 fish, and how many of those were pickerel? Nine. Nine. If we didn't have the minus system and we were just going off pure fish, we would have crushed it. We would have, Jack would have absolutely gave us the win, uh, without a doubt, but we all tied today. But it was a good start. We're definitely going to, definitely, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, you got it. Definitely keep an eye out for more, like, friendly tournament videos, because they're just fun. It puts, like, a... Give, gives a little competition, you know, it feels good winning and it, it hurts a little to lose. I think we were talking about putting putting some more wagers down too, whether it's money or someone has to do something stupid if they lose. Um, so, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll get better as we go on, but either way, solid day of fishing. First day in a long time we caught numbers. I mean, we've just been grinding, catching like one fish, if that. It's a bummer that I caught that bass at the end after we called it because that would have been, uh, what would have put us in the lead. I think we totally went to the wrong parts. I think we went way too shallow, way too fast. We didn't really work that transition from deep to shallow. Um, but hey, we're gonna we're more prepared next time we come. Might even come back here tomorrow, who knows. But anyways, thanks for making it this far, guys, if you are still watching. And uh, as always, get out there. We'll see you in the next one.